Hey, 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 it's Shell Anderson from Shell's Creative Corner and Shell Anderson Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I blog at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and I can be reached anytime by email at andersonshell at gmail.com. I can be found on Facebook, YouTube, and Pinterest under Stamp with Shell. I'd like to welcome you here today. I am just having a play at a twisted gate fold card today. So I just grabbed a whole bunch of pieces out of my scrap bin and I'm going to show you how we're going to make this card. So I'm going to bring in a scoreboard and I just have my little wee one here today just to make it easier. And I am going to grab a scoring tool and we are going to score this at two and a half. Oh, I should tell you the size. I'm sorry. This is four and a quarter by seven and a half. And we are going to score this at two and a half. And again at five. All right, and then we were going going to score the diagonal. Now we're going to put one point in there and then we're going to rotate this bottom point so that it's in the center of the track. And we're going to score from corner to corner. And on the opposite panel, we are going to do the same direction. All right, so same direction. Let's get this tip in the corner and rotate. So we're going to score from top to bottom. Oops, that slid just a bit. There we go. All right, I want to slide this out of the way for now. And we are going to bring in a bone folder and we are going to burnish on those score lines. And we want to burnish this well. And you're going to fold the flaps back. So you're going to fold the gates in and the flaps back. All right, same thing on this side. Gates in and the flaps back. And there we have a twisted gate fold. It doesn't matter which way you score these panels as long as they're both going in the same direction. All right, so for the inside of the card, I have a piece of whisper white so that we're going to have a place to write our greeting and we'll just pop that in place like so <clears throat> now we need to decorate the outside so I have this I've already cut this one we're doing two cards today so you'll see me cut the other one this piece is cut at two by three and three quarters and the trick to this is you have to make sure that the print you want on the outside of your card is facing up if you cut it this way it will not fit your card so make sure your print is facing up so basically you do the same thing you put this in your paper trimmer and you cut from corner to corner. So then these pieces, uh, how did I have this going here? These pieces are going to go on the front of your card. And as you can tell, I cut this wrong because now I have candles for my paper. Right, you see the problem there? It will not fit this way. And this is what I had intended for the outside. So now I'm gonna be either forced to go with this 
or cut another piece. Now let me just quickly take a look here and see what I have left from that. Let's see if I have another piece. That was from, that was just, oh, I do have another piece. It's just some retired paper that I had. So I will be able to cut another one and you'll be able to watch me do it. So again, this is two by three and three quarters. Okay, two. by three and three quarters. All right, so that's just garbage. And now we're gonna take a look at our card and see the way our card is gonna go. All right, so now we have to visualize how we need our paper to go. So if this is going to go on here, right, we need to cut this from this corner to this corner for it to go on there correctly. All right, so visualize from this corner to this corner. And hopefully I'm doing it right this time. There we go. All right, we're on the right track now, my friends. So that was a good lesson for all of us that we need to just take a minute and have a look before we cut. And there we have that one. And here we'll have this one. Awesome. All right, there we are. Now I am going to bring in a two and a quarter inch circle. And that is going to get mounted only on one side of our card, okay? So I'm just going to choose this side. Doesn't matter which way you do it, just as long as you just do one side. And I'm going to put the adhesive over on this side. Close my card. And make sure all my adhesive is on there okay weird looking card eh all right now i'm going to bring in the medium daisy punch and i've got a piece of mint macaron which is one of the colors in that dsp so i'm going to punch a couple of those <clears throat> and i forgot one more punch. If you bear with me a second, I will find it. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and then I have a little piece of red cardstock here. And that's going to be the center for our daisy. And what I'm going to do is just. offset these and I'm just going to pop that on a dimensional right fair in the middle of that circle. No, that's not middle. There we 
there we go all right so far so good the more we work with this the flatter it will lay and this will fit in a standard envelope as well now i don't have any greeting on there <clears throat> i have this bunch of greetings from the many messages and there's just tons of little greetings in here this one here is going to be the one I'm going to take because it's tiny and I can pop it off to the side here. And it says, so glad you're one of my peeps. Okay, so I can put that on there and then when it opens up, that's how it's going to be. But it's going to be straight when I put it on here. Makes sense. And I'm just going to glue that flat. And you see what I just did something terribly wrong I cannot use that because I put glue on all of it and that's not cool <clears throat> so I'm just having a look here for another small greeting There are many in here. I'm going to flip this over and see if I can find another of the ones that I just had. Probably not because that's the one I want. Oh, I did find one. <clears throat> Pardon me. So now we're going to be smart this time and just put adhesive on one side. And we're going to close our card and tuck that right in like that. So glad you're one of my peeps. And then it opens up like that. Isn't that cute? All right, that's card number one. Now let's try it in some different patterns and different pieces. We're going to do this all together. <clears throat> we need to do some scoring. I'm going to use my, my paper trimmer this time. This is going to be scored at two and a half. And again at five. Right? Now... We're going to do it the opposite to what we did last time. I'm going to score from that corner down. And that corner down. They're still going in the same, same direction but opposite to this other card that we had. All right, so we are going to fold in and fold away. And fold in and fold away. All right. All right. So this one is going this way. It's going the same way as the last one was. Well, good day. I thought I was doing it different. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Put in a piece of white paper so that we have a nice place to write our greeting. Right inside here. Now we have to visualize this. <clears throat> All right, we want this to go on here. So we have to cut from this corner down. 
There we go. Oh, the other side's pretty too. All right, so we're going to glue these pieces on the same as we did last time. I love this bright, bold pattern. And our other piece is right here in front of me. We'll get this one on as well. like so all right now I have the same circle only I have it in the Pacific point to match here so I am going to once again put the adhesive just on one side Make sure all my adhesive is covered. We're good. All right. Now for this one, I am going to use the same daisy punch. Only I am going to make white daisies. Like so. And I am going to use... Where's my punch? There it is. I'm going to use this. There's some of this mint macaron in that paper. I am going to use that for the center. Same thing again. We're just going to put some adhesive on there. Offset our daisy. Adhesive in the middle. Stick on our circle. Oops, there we go, center it up. And once again, I'm going to grab a dimensional. And we will pop this in the middle of that circle. Oh, that one's pretty. Love that one. Now we are at the task to find another greeting. A lot of these greetings that are in here are chicken greetings, so I have to be careful. Oh, this one's cute. Go ahead and have another birthday. Just don't expect me to keep up with you. Ah. Um, feel better soon. These ones are too big. Um, what's this one say? If you find your new age hard to swallow, just add some tequila. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right. How about get better soon? That one's pretty simple. And I can pop that off the side here. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. So once again, we have to be careful with our adhesive. Just put it down one side. Close our card. And tuck it in. And then when we open it, not cool. And here's our first one. So glad you're one of my peeps. So there we have it. There are our two twisted gate folds. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini class. I just was trying these out for myself and I thought, you know what, I'm going to share that so that others can try one for themselves. All right. 
That's it for today. Bye-bye.